بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد عن أنس رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم طوبى لمن شغله عيبه عن عيوب الناس أخرجه البزار بإسناد الحسن الحديث عن أنس عنه, that he said, the Messenger وسلم, said, Tuba. Tuba is for the person, this is for the person that their own faults, their own faults and mistakes busy them from worrying about the mistakes of other people. Tuba, the reward for the person is Tuba, that they're busy, they're so busy with their own mistakes and shortcomings that they don't worry about and they can't busy themselves with the shortcomings of other people. So it says, Tuba. Does anybody know what Tuba is? It's a store on 57th Street named Tuba. But Tuba. Tuba, a shajaratun fil jannah. A tree in paradise. A tree in paradise. And it's called Tuba. So the Messenger وسلم, said, Tuba liman shagalahu ibuhu an uyubin nas. That that tree in paradise is for the person who busies themselves. They're busy correcting their own faults and they're not worried about they're not worried about the faults of other people. Shajratun fil Jannah. Takunu liman shagalahu ibuhu an uyubin nas. And this is specified for the person who's busy correcting his self or herself. They're not busy with the faults of the people. So, ينظر في عيوبه وهو يصلحها ويحاسب نفسه So this type of this person who this reward is for they look at their own situation, they look at their own self and they correct themselves ويحاسب نفسه and they hold themselves accountable for their shortcomings and their own mistakes this is the one that the Messenger وسلم, said, Tuba, Tuba is for this person, that, that tree in paradise. And also that they don't, they don't busy themselves with the mistakes of other people. We know we got a problem with this. Huh? They don't busy themselves with the mistakes of other people, but they're busy with their own mistakes. He says, He doesn't busy himself or herself with the mistakes of other people and forget or overlook his or her, their own shortcomings. They're not negligent of themselves, but they're worried about everybody else's mistakes. But they're busy with their mistakes and they're not worried about everybody else's mistakes. So the one who is busy, busy with himself or herself, and they leave and they, they leave off and they don't worry about the mistakes of other people, this promise in this hadith, this promise from Allah Jalla wa'ala or from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, anna lahu tuba, that he will or she will receive this tree in paradise where he has shadra fil jannah yaseeru al-raqib, this tree in paradise named Tuba, that if a person were to ride in the shade, travel through the shade of this tree, that the shade will extend for uh, 100 years. 100 years worth of shade under this tree, as that uh, specification or that description comes in another hadith recorded by Imam Ahmed and Abi Sayyid al Khudri about the the amount of shade being the distance of one hundred years, not one hundred miles, one hundred years. And that could be something that falls under the hadith the, the, the thing that should increase a person's iman from yesterday. Looking at the beauty of Islam, or oh, that was last week, the beauty of Islam, the simplicity of Islam, the reward and these type of things that we're able to get based on something as simple as 
uh, worrying about our own selves, and worrying about our own situations and not being busy with the faults and the mistakes and the situation of other people. It is also said in another uh, explanation of Tuba, he is Jannah. It is also said in, a, in another explanation of what is Tuba, that Tuba, that word means paradise itself. So from the benefits of this hadith is that as Shaykh Abdullah Bassam said, Man shagalahu aibuhu fasara jadan fi tkhallus min al-radha'il al-dhunub. Whoever is busy with their own self, they're worried about correcting themselves. This person is serious about, they become serious about stopping, stopping the disobedience of Allah Jalla wa'ala. They want to become serious, and it's a serious thing for them to leave off disobeying Allah and leaving off those sins that are, could be major, could be minor. Point is that they're serious about leaving off the disobedience of Allah Jalla wa'ala. And he says, and at the same time, فَإِنَّهُ سَيَتَحَلَّى بِفَضَائِلِ الْأَخْلَاقِ And at the same time, that person will strive and try their best to uh, carry themselves with the best type of behavior and the best type of manners. أَلَّتِي أَوَلُهَا طَاعَةُ اللَّهِ Which is the first and foremost thing that is considered to be from good behavior is obedience to Allah Jalla wa'ala. Obedience to Allah Jalla wa'ala is at the height or at the top of the list for akhlaq. Well then, could it be something else at the top of the list? Is it possible to say somebody has good adab, they have good behavior, but they're disobedient to Allah? I think mean, hmm? yes, but I don't know why. I, I, huh? I can't explain it, but I think so. It's possible? Yeah, I think it's possible. How? Like you said, if they have good adib on, on, on how, but we don't know what they're thinking all the time, so they always worry about somebody else's affairs. Yeah, I'd be clearer than that. That's jade, but you can never know about what's in their heart. Possible person has good adib, and they're upon disobedience. At the top of the list, he says at the top of the list of of having the most uh, the best characteristics and the best uh, the, the best behavior at the top of the list obedience to Allah Jalla wa'ala. so is it possible to say somebody has adab and they're not obedient to Allah nah. huh? <laughs> so if we say that it's impossible that somebody can have good edit, but they disobey Allah. Right? That's what you're saying. In that case, then, there's no non-Muslim that you know that has good edit. Huh? Are they disobedient to Allah? By worshiping other than Allah, that's the greatest form of disobedience. Worshiping other than Allah is the greatest form of disobedience. But at the same time, you might meet a person who's not a Muslim that they have good edit. Sometimes you say, man, you know, you'd be a nice Muslim, man. <laughs> right? They might have good edit as far as dealing with people, but dealing with the Creator, the edit might, is not there. So at the top of the list, he says, at the top of the list, it's not just dealing with people, but obedience to Allah Jalla Allah is at the top of the list of a person beautifying himself or uh, carrying themselves with that type of behavior, the, the, the best type of behavior. He says also at the top of the list, uh, a person behaving and carrying themselves in a way that, uh, let's say, it doesn't tarnish their image. That they th do things, they carry themselves in a way that is inviting to others. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it makes a person want to inquire. It's a respectable type of behavior. And also, they carry themselves in a way that will bring them closer to Allah Jalla Wa'ala. He says, 
So the person who fights against their own self in order to remove and, and, and stay away from sins and they want to behave with the best type of behavior then this person has busied their time they've used their time in order to correct themselves and as the Prophet Sallallahu said the point of this hadith is that Tuba is for those people Tuba is for those people which is either a tree in paradise, according to some explanations, or paradise itself. This hadith itself shows the virtue and the status that Islam gives to a person. Not that we give to a person. The status that Islam gives to a person that busies themselves with uh, their own faults and correcting their own faults. And not busying themselves with other people's faults. This is the virtue and the status that Islam has given to this person. That the reward, the reward for that is tuba, which is either a tree in paradise and some explanations or paradise itself. It says, And the opposite is also understood. That it is not something that is uh, praised in Islam that a person is busy with everybody else's faults and their mistakes and that they don't take account of their own selves, that they don't pay attention or they forget about their own mistakes, but they're worried about the mistakes of everybody else. This is something that is not praiseworthy. This is not something that is not a good character trait Islamically. The opposite of the hadith applies. So the one who busies themselves with their own faults, then for that person, and they're not busy with the faults of the people, for that person is tuba. And the opposite, as he says here, is that the person is blameworthy. The one who is worried about the faults and mistakes of everyone else, but they're not concerned with their own mistakes, and they forget about their own mistakes, then they're blameworthy in this case. And we'll stop there. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم